Hello, and thank you for calling the Service Desk. My name is Chris, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection Application on more than one screen. This video is getting made today because of a comment that somebody left in the comment section of one of our other videos, a video that showed how to use uh, multiple display devices when using Citrix to work remotely from home or from wherever. So if there's something that you'd like to see, please make sure that you drop a comment in this video. I do read all of them, and if there's something I can help you out with, I'll be sure to make a video about it. So Microsoft Remote Desktop uh, is a very robust and, uh, frankly, a great remote uh, option to access computers in a different location. Um, it's very common, and you can access it by hitting the Start button and searching for MSTSC. That'll get you the remote desktop connection. We've already got our IP address of our remote computer in here, and if we hit connect, it's going to pop up and ask us for our credentials to log into that machine. Enter our password, hit connect, and the remote desktop connection will start up. You'll connect to the remote machine, and in just your standard out-of-the-box settings, you'll get a full screen experience on one display. So the question was asked, how do I use this on more than one display? I'm going to close out of our remote desktop uh, session here. And you'll notice I have a virtual machine set up here with two virtual displays. So representing display number one on the left, display number two on the right. So we want to be able to use that remote desktop application. Um, it's a remote desktop on both screens. So we will hit our start button again, search for MSTSC, open up the remote desktop connection app. And we're going to hit this drop down arrow here in the bottom left hand corner, then go to the display tab and select this tick box here that says use all of my monitors for the remote session. Tick that, hit connect, and enter in our password again. Press enter, and you'll see that both screens have gone black now as the remote PC adjusts for the two monitor display. You'll notice here now we can take our application that's running in the remote session and drag it on over in between the two screens. That's it. Easy enough, right? Like I said, my name is Chris, and I make videos to help people with their computer questions. If you have a computer question that you'd like answered, please leave a comment down in the comment section. I do try and read all of them. Uh, it might take me a week or two to get around to reading your comment or seeing it, but leave it there. And if it's something I can help you out with, I'll be more than happy to make a video. So please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. That really helps us out as we're trying to grow here. And also you can check out different ways to support me uh, down in the comment section. There'll be a link to my Patreon soon enough and other ways that you can offer support. Again, I've been Chris and thank you very much for calling the service desk.